Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you five air fryer recipes. They're all family favourites that we enjoy and there's a fake away recipe in there for you and also a sweet treat as well. So make sure you keep watching to the end so you can see those ones too. Um, they're all really budget friendly. They are included in kind of my 50 or 60 pound shops from Lidl and Sainsbury's that I've done over the last two weeks. So they're really affordable for you. So I hope you enjoy them. If you do, don't forget to give the video a like and hit subscribe for more foodie content. And let's get cooking. Okay, the first of our air fryer recipes are just some air fryer pizzas. So I've got some flatbreads here, which I'm going to unfold. And then for the base, I'm going to do tomato puree for the children. And also I'm going to mix in some barbecue sauce for my husband and I. And then you just need to top those really with your cheese and your toppings and you want to pop them in the air fryer. So um, I'm not going to do them for very long. You're going to need a couple of minutes. Um, so yeah, let's get assembling our pizzas. Okay, so here are the pizzas all prepped. So I'm just gonna pop those into the air fryer. I'm gonna start them off for a couple of minutes each and see how we go. Okay, and here are the air fryer pizzas all done and plated up. So we just like to have ours with some chips. So these are just frozen crinkly chips. Obviously you can make your own or do wedges or whatever you fancy with it. We like some salad as well, so just on some cucumber sticks. Um, these literally took four minutes in the air fryer on air fry at 200. So about four minutes should be fine. Um, you can see they're nice and golden. Everything's cooked and melted, but they're not like frazzled. And like I say, a really economical one. You can kind of make them vegetarian if you want to, or, you know, buy whatever you want to go on. But it's a real nice family sort of Friday treat without costing very much and obviously healthier than buying frozen pizzas. The next of the air fryer recipes is some honey and mustard chicken thighs. So I've just got my thighs here with a little bit of oil on and some salt and pepper. And then I've made a marinade here just with some runny honey, some whole grain mustard and some salt and pepper and just a tiny bit of oil just to sort of loosen it off a little bit. And then you can use whatever veg you like. I've diced up here some sweet potato, some carrot, some red onion and some broccoli. So I'm going to pop the chicken in one drawer of the air fryer and then I'm just going to pop all of the veg in the other drawer with a little bit of oil and some salt and pepper um, and then sort of roast that off. So um, yeah, it's as simple as that really. So I'll just pop it in the air fryer. I'm going to do the chicken, well, I'll sink both drawers, but the chicken will take about half an hour. I think it says 25 minutes to half an hour in the air fryer. So um, I will put the veg on for the same amount of time as that. So it should be about 25 minutes. The next of our air fryer recipes is a sausage one pan tray bake. Just got some potatoes that I've chopped up, got some carrot, red onion, some pepper, some mushrooms that definitely need using up. Um, we've got some sausages and some chopped garlic, and I'm just gonna season with some of this steak seasoning. Um, I know it says steak, but if you look at the ingredients, it is actually just like pepper and onion, mustard, that kind of thing, so it can go on anything really. And then we've got salt and pepper and just a little drizzle of oil. So I'm actually going to kind of put it all in here and season it up.
Okay, so I've just stopped the air fryer there after 10 minutes and you can see everything is kind of softening and getting a bit crispy. The sausages look like they're pretty much there. Um, so I'm just going to add in my mushrooms that I've just tossed in the leftover oil and just pop it on for a couple of minutes just to cook those mushrooms and then hopefully it should be done. The next recipe is some air fryer chocolate chip cookies. They're really simple and you just need a few ingredients. So you can see here I've got some plain flour and I've just put a quarter teaspoon of bicarb and a pinch of salt in there as well. And then I've got some soft just baking spread and some brown sugar. I've got one small egg a splash of vanilla and some chocolate chips and it really is just as easy as combining them all in your bowl with a wooden spoon and then you just need some baking paper to line your drawers of your air fryer. Once the drawers of your air fryer are lined with baking paper, you just need to use a dessert spoon to just put a spoonful of mixture onto the paper. I fitted three cookies in each drawer just so they have room to spread out without joining, um, but it would obviously depend on how big your air fryer was. And then you just need to pop those on to 160 on the bake mode for 15 minutes and allow to cool. Okay, the last of our air fryer recipes ideas is a KFC Zinger Burger. So um, to serve two people, you just need one chicken breast and you kind of halve it. So you butterfly it and then cut it in half. So I've got two sort of thinner breast fillets. You could buy the sizzler steaks if you wanted to, um, or you could use a whole breast, but do you find them being thinner is fine. Um, so we've got obviously this serves two so you could double it if you were doing it for four people so i've got half a chicken breast each and then just going to um coat that in some seasoned flour so i've just put some pepper and salt in there just going to coat that and then dip it in the your beaten egg and then i'm going to crush these and roll it in the crushed up these are chili heat wave well sainsbury's version of chili sort of doritos um and then roll it in there so it's got like a, a crumb on it but it's obviously spicy um, and do those in the air fryer and then we're going to serve it with some sliced up lettuce and in the burger buns and then we're having ours with some air fryer chips and some beans that I'm going to just spice up a bit as well. Now it would probably be helpful if I had a spray oil to just sort of give them a squirt but I just have a normal one so what I'm going to do is just sort of rub that a bit of oil onto the griller tray 
so that they don't stick and then just pop these in you should just about get two in there so they're going to go into that one in my other drawer i'm just going to do my wedges so i'm just going to pop them in the other drawer you could obviously use frozen chips if you wanted to but uh, the homemade ones are nice so we're just going to do that i'm going to just put a little bit of oil in there and then i'm going to just put some paprika in just to sort of season them up a bit you could do garlic or just salt or whatever and a bit of pepper and then just give them a good shake so they get coated in the oil and then we're just going to pop this on so i'm just going to air fry I'm going to go start with 20 minutes okay while that's cooking i'm just going to shred my lettuce and heat the beans and i'll show you when it's all plated up so here are the burgers all dished up you can see they're nice and crunchy and we've just got ours with some spicy beans and some wedges so i'm just literally going to top those with some lettuce and then we've got barbecue sauce bowls so you can have whatever you like on yours you can put cheese on if you want or just ketchup or have it plain whatever but yeah that's what we're gonna have I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in another video.